Hey, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. So our march is about to kick off. I'm at 14th and Broadway. We already have the police officers right here with a big loudspeaker declaring. The department is required to assist and facilitate these rights. Attention marchers, the Oakland Police Department recognizes your right. Peaceful. So the march is starting and we already have announcements of unlawful protests. I don't know what I'm allowed to do by the OPA. assist us in a peaceful protest. They're under our right to protest. However, it also sounded like a threat, in my opinion. Oakland Gaza, Greece! Fuck the police! 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 show you guys the awesome press pass that my friend O'Harrisy made for me. Hopefully this will save me from getting beat down today. We have a pretty awesome banner here, another Oakland is possible. It's all hand stitch. walked up on all the other streamers so I'm gonna try to stay away from them just so that we can get you guys a different point of view so we don't want to all be in one spot if you guys are looking for other streams we have Pix please that's PIX PLZ we have Oak for show uh, Oakland Freedom LA I'm sorry Occupy Freedom LA is here uh, Bella Ico uh, Punk Boy NSF, TRWBS, um, there's several others, I can't remember all the names right at the moment, but... Uh, Man Jose, it looks like I'm seeing both stream and chat right now. Awesome. Okay. I'm a little, little on edge, but I'm finding a group of people I like, you know. 
Bob's to Rob. I failed to mention Bob's to Rob. That's two, um, three R's. Bob's to Rob with three R's. We have our nice, uh, brilliantly made shields here. These things are fucking amazing. Um, if I can get a good shot of this when they swing it around, this is very well constructed. If it's vacant, take it, is what the sign says. So granted that nothing's going on in the next uh, 10 minutes, I'll be looking to try to keep these broadcasts down to 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll be archiving every 20 to 30 minutes if possible. Of course, if we've got somebody being beat or some kind of big actions happening, I will not cut, obviously. But 20 to 30 minute stream archives are really good for when you're trying to look back and find something. If you have to go through hours and hours of footage, it's kind of difficult. So I usually try to archive every 20 to 30 minutes. So um, as far as police presence, we know that we had police that were staging over in the city center parking lot. Um, we've seen about 20 officers on foot earlier when I got here. Um, down at the police station at Broadway, uh, the 20 to 30 vans that were there last night, they are down to only about 10 vans. Um, so the other 10 or 15 vans are out around the city, and they're not all in one place. They're very scattered. Um, so the, the cops have done a different type of strategy this time. They're not bulking up in one spot. Um, I'm actually, I want to be here at the front when they start marching, but I think we got enough streamers up here at the front. So I want to get to the back of the march and see what kind of police presence that we have at the back of the march. It uh, looks like some press has found Khalid. Khalid was uh, detained earlier for a warrant, was the rumor. But he's, he's, he's out here on the street now. Uh, so you can probably tune into some other media channels to find out what's going on with Khalid. He's doing an interview with MSM right now. But that does confirm that Khalid is not currently in jail. He may have been detained. We've got a party going on in the middle of the street with a libertarian band. a better beautiful weather day here today it's such a nice day today so 
we're kind of not really a march just yet. We're kind of a rally in the middle of the street kind of thing. Um, we're preparing to march very soon. Um, but this is pretty much the back where I'm at right now. This is 14th. This is Broadway. If I swing the other direction, down that way is 14th and Clay. Um, we don't have any vans behind us right now. But down there at 14th and Clay, there's a probably between the last two buildings on your left side of the screen is a parking garage where we've seen several officers on foot that were collecting earlier. So I'm going to get my way back up to the front of the march again. Hey, Shane, how's it going? Hi. Hey, your friend is on Ustream watching you. Do you want to say hi? Who is he? Hi, what's up? Andrew. I'm here, Andrew. I don't know where you are. Come on down. <laughs> well, come on up. All right. Take care, stay safe, hey, uh, okay? Victor's right there. Owen's phone around here somewhere. Do you guys have the NLG phone number? Uh, no. I you need to have NLG phone number written on you in case of an arrest. I would write it on your body somewhere. Is there a pen? Um, I think that's what she's digging for. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, make sure that everybody that came up from San Jose has that number written down just in case something happens to you guys, okay? Good, huh? Well, we just want to make sure that you have the right contact numbers for the area. Cool. What's the number? 485? Or oh, 415, I'm sorry. 415, yeah, don't trust me. Oh, I got a sharp, I got smaller one. Yeah, you probably want one you can read that's not going to come off. 415. Can we do it smaller? Wait, what's the rest of the number? 285 10 11. All right. All right, so I'll see you around, okay, buddy? All right. Take care. All right, so just a reminder anybody walking, watching at home, if you have friends that are out here, please make sure that your friends contact them. Make sure that somebody has their main contact information. That should be their first, last name, their date of birth, and somebody that can be contacted to help with bail or or getting you out of jail. Um, so um, also they should have the NLG contact phone number written on their body. Um, if you put it in your phone and your phone is damaged or taken by the police, it will not help you. So NLG contact number, if you want to share it with anybody that you know is out here, 415-285-1011. So I'm uh, making my way back to the front of the march now. Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? Awesome. I almost slept through the revolution. I was going to call you, too. I woke up at 11.37. I woke up at 11.15. <laughs> so funny. I was up till 4. I, like, literally rolled out of bed. Yeah, and me too. What did they try to beat up the guy when you got my back? I threatened to kick his ass at the board. I've talked to you so many times, and I don't know your I'm name. Dave. Dave, I'm Kimber. Yeah, I... Me too, actually. At the port, I, like, came storming up to him. I'm like... Asshole! Get the fuck out! You're wearing like $600 shoes! You're in a fucking port! It looks like we're rallying to start walking now. Excuse me? Alright, so we're on the move. We're headed down Broadway. It's currently at 13th and Broadway. Went right, one street, one street went straight. 
but it looks like they got it under control now. Shields got up in front. Happy family Aki party. walking one pace and we got the rest of the march in front of me walking a different pace so there's a little bit of a gap in the middle but we will be okay um, right up ahead we're at 11th and Broadway and we are gonna go down 11th Street so if you're looking to meet up with the march we welcome you come on out it's a great beautiful 63 degree day wish I would have put sunblock on definitely didn't need a jacket closer. We've got a cart of furniture inside this group. So we have a cart of furniture that is going to be going to the bin. We have this cart here that has some chairs. stuck on a great in the street. Got another cart of furniture. They're having some difficulties. It's kind of stuck. I'm working on trying to get it up.
This is what we call teamwork. Occupy teamwork here. So they're having a little difficulty getting this cart going. All right, so we found our police parade here. So we'll, we'll turn the, the focus another direction. So those of you that are cop watching, here's our, here's our friends. Well, not really our friends, but our peoples that are here to oppress us. I'm not getting any closer for badge numbers. Hey, I apologize. So right directly in front of me on the sidewalk, there's probably about eight officers. Um, looks like, oh man, I, I can't even begin to count these cops. There's a lot though. We are fully ready to go. Let's see if I can walk down the side sidewalk here so I don't provoke them. Um, we got a lot of badge numbers though. 178, 268. Alright, Man Jose, thank you so much for letting me know about the video. We're going to cut an archive and come back on and we'll start capturing some of this footage of the police.